Hey, y'all, howdy. I'm fixing to head on down to the rodeo this weekend. Going to watch them cowboys ride them bulls and rope them cattle. It's going to be a rootin' tootin' good time, y'all. Afterwards, we might grab some barbecue at the local joint. I reckon we'll have some brisket and ribs with a side of coleslaw and cornbread. Can't beat that Texas-style cooking. Then maybe we'll catch a football game on TV and cheer on the Longhorns or the Aggies. Those boys sure know how to play some ball, don't they? All right, mate. How's it going? You from around here or what? Yeah, I'm a proper Londoner, born and bred. It's a wicked city, isn't it? You got your West End shows, your street markets, your greasy spoons, and your fancy restaurants. I'm telling you, there's something for everyone here. Me, I'm partial to a bit of pie and mash from the local pie and mash shop. And when it comes to nightlife, there's no shortage of pubs and clubs to choose from. But you've got to be careful, because there are some dodgy areas around here. Anyway, nice talking to you. See you later, mate. Hey, how you doing? I'm walking here. Yeah, I'm from the city, born and bred. I got to tell you, there's no place like it in the world. You got your pizza, your bagels, your hot dogs, and of course the best delis around. I'm going to grab a pastrami on rye from Katz's later. Maybe with a side of pickles. And don't even get me started on the subway. It can be a pain in the butt, but it gets you where you need to go. You got to have thick skin to live in New York, though. You can't let nobody push you around. But at the end of the day, it's worth it for the energy and excitement of the city that never sleeps. Top of the morning to you, sure. And it's a grand day for a pint of Guinness, isn't it? I was down at the pub with me mates last night, and we had a great crack, telling stories and singing songs until the wee hours. Speaking of songs, have you heard Danny Boy before? Uh, Tis a lovely tune that brings a tear to me eye. And of course, there's nothing like a good cup of tea and some soda bread to start the day off right. You can take the man out of Ireland, but you can't take Ireland out of the man, so they say. my dear fellow. How are you faring? I do hope the weather is treating you kindly. I must say, I'm quite looking forward to tea time later. It's always such a pleasant ritual, don't you think? Perhaps we could indulge in some scones and clotted cream and peruse the times for a bit. Oh, and I nearly forgot to mention I shall be attending a soiree this evening at the embassy. It's sure to be a splendid affair with plenty of cocktails and canapes to go around. Would you care to join me, old chap? Hello, namaste. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good time. Where are you from? I'm from India myself. Mumbai, to be precise. Have you ever been there? It's a bustling city full of life and energy. And the food, oh my, it's absolutely delicious. If you're ever in India, you must try some of the street food. And don't worry, we'll take care of you. Hospitality is very important in our culture. So tell me, what brings you here today? Are you on holiday or are you here for work? Whatever the reason, I'm sure you'll have a great time. All right then, take care and see you later. Good evening to ye. It's a broad day the day, isn't it? Haven't they seen the sun shine in, say, bright in weeks? I'm a walk to the shops to pick up some neeps and tatties for supper the nicked. I'm thinking maybe I'll make a nice haggis with a wee dram of whiskey on the side. You canny go rang with a bit of Scottish cuisine, eh? And if you're feeling up for it, we could head doon to the sealith later and dance a few reels. I'm nay the best dancer, mind you, but I'll give it a go. 